So the gates are open, the tourists are arriving. What is reasonable to expect in terms of momentum? What did you see come through? What are the forward bookings looking like that you can tell us in terms of what we can expect? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, first of all, uh, let me say good morning to everyone. And uh, our thoughts definitely go out to all those affected by the pandemic across the world. And I have to say a big thank you to all the frontline staff, uh, both here and internationally, who've been keeping us all safe. Look, I mean, uh, when we think about outlooks and expectations, right now we look at it in sort of two, two cents. The first of all, definitely tourism globally has been affected. And as you know, the UNWTO has talked about 1.2 to $3.3 trillion, maybe the impact on tourism revenues. We've gone through this pause phase where we've, uh, you know, the whole world has been paused. And now, you know, we're seeing uh, a gradual opening up of the markets. And, you know, we're looking forward to seeing aggressive growth coming, you know, once things normalize towards the year end. It's been definitely a roller coaster over the last uh, 10 weeks. Uh, you know, much of, you know, we're definitely in a much better place today. Um, people are much more optimistic, and uh, and you know we're we're seeing it uh, as as definitely something very positive. Another thing you know you, that I have to mention is you know as with the public markets, you know people are looking through this pandemic. Uh, definitely, you know as countries get things under control, as things normalise, you know we definitely see the other side as being a very quick rebound to tourism. Yeah. Uh, Helen, I mean, we are all about numbers at Bloomberg. And so what I want to try and do is get a bit of a bigger picture view from you. You said you, you would hope that there would be an aggressive return to growth, to the numbers. Uh, what is the kind of base case that you're looking at in terms of how many people are going to come to Dubai, say, in August, in September, or even as, as early as July? Look, I think, I think when you're looking at July and August, you know, as I said, it really depends on the opening up. You know, we're definitely in touch with all governments around the world. And as you know, some airports around the world are not open yet. If we take July, Emirates is, uh, you know, flying to 50 uh, locations. We're definitely working very closely with them on the opening up. The 380s will be back in action by the middle of the month, flying to London and Paris. So you could see, you know, the month of July and August are very important to us. And as we build that network globally, we definitely are looking to see uh, uh, good growth. Now, post the summer, you know, assuming things go well this quarter and the opening up happens and, and, and you know, the rest of the world, uh, you know, we, we, we got out the door pretty early and, uh, and, and the rest of the world also opens up. We expect to see the last quarter of the year much improved. Hello. What is the risk we've got quarantines around the world so if we want to travel if we want tourists to come here they have to quarantine at the moment when they return when do you reasonably expect those quarantines for example in europe and the uk to be lifted that is that the alpha to 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 scaling up Look, I think it's a very uh, good question about Europe and the UK. Uh, you know, we're, we're, it's, a, it's definitely an evolving situation. As you know, these lists are getting updated every couple of weeks with these air bridges. And, and our government here is in discussion with the agencies and governments over there. And countries like us, you know, who have definitely taken the WHO advice of test, test, test very seriously, seem to find themselves at a slight disadvantage in these early days because unless you're all looking at the same metrics, which is number of positive cases per test per 100,000, uh, you know, we, you, you, can't, you can't see that as a challenge. Of course, keeping that in mind, Dubai has an extremely diversified mm -hmm. uh, market strategy. And as you mentioned, and when we're first opening up, as I mentioned, 50 markets is what we're immediately starting with. So we're not relying on any specific market or region. But you're right. I mean, we need to, we need to move past this phase and we need to make sure that people can travel without quarantine. You know, last time we spoke about how this might be an opportunity to bring in some new ideas. And the conversations that I've been having point to perhaps uh, an experimentation with gambling. I want to know from you whether that's a conversation you're having or that you could be having in the near future. I mean, that's one we've heard from Bloomberg several times. But I have to say, it's, it's the only place I've heard it. It's not <laughs> something we're considering, you know, uh, and, and it's definitely not something on the radar. OK, well, that's, that's Yusuf's dream. You've just, you've just, you've just busted Yus Yusuf's I'm dream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, Yusuf, In that. terms of... <laughs> it's OK. 
he, he'll get over it. How did uh, I turn into a gambler? I don't, I don't gamble, by the way, just FYI. He's the fast of <laughs> Halal. He's the fast and furious one on this show. Um, look, on, on a slightly more, more serious note, um, what do you think the businesses out there need to do to, to, to drive this forward as well? They've come under huge pressure, F&B, hotels. What more do you think you can do to help them in the first instance? Will we see another, another assistance from, from government? Look, I think, I think definitely. I mean, you know, what you've seen so far in the, in, the, in the overall tourism sector, because you're not just talking about specifically hotels and airlines, you've seen the government come in very strong. You've seen the government come in and, and not only give, um, you know, delays, rebates and everything else, but also reduce uh, government taxation. You know, also, uh, if you take hotels as an example of this, you know, many hotel groups, uh, you know, own multiple hotels. What they've done is they've streamlined, they've made sure that they, uh, you know, keep some hotels open uh, whilst, whilst holding the, the others back for when tourists arrive. Uh, you know, we've been in con continuous dialogue with them. And the most important thing is the early opening, the rebuilding of revenues for SMEs. Uh, you know, if you take malls, you take the water parks and everything else opening last month. That's been, that's been very, very important. And, and we envisage, you know, as we move towards the year end and as the markets do open up, you know, people are going to start recruiting again. People are going to start, you know, really trying to drive that growth because that's, that's what they're there for with their businesses. Hillel, Dubai is known for very close coordination uh, across the sectors and industries just to make the tourism experience as complete as possible. Uh, beyond Dubai's borders, though, the, the uh, alignment seems to be a little bit less intact, let me put it that way, because Abu Dhabi is on a bit of a different page in terms of how the reopening should work and, you know, the other Emirates as well, potentially. How, how key is it that you all get on the same page so that you can uh, extend an offering that even goes beyond Dubai? Look, I mean, you, you, have, to, you have to know, this, obviously, this pandemic came to everyone as a surprise, right? Uh, we, we, we weren't ready for it. Um, and everybody has managed to really make sure that they deal with it in their own way. If you take the UAE, the UAE is a federal government. Dubai has put in the most stringent uh, measures, as, as well as the rest of the UAE. We've already been uh, awarded uh, you know, safe city stamp by the World Travel and Tourism Council. And, uh, and, and I expect, you know, over the, you know, as each emirate you know, takes its own precautionary measures, I expect over the course of this summer, your tourists to be able to enjoy the whole UAE once more. The opening up is not happening over one day, as I, as I mentioned. It's happening up over the course of a period of time, just how the closing happened as well.